I want the truth to set us free. Not only me, but Jesus wants it to set us free. But we have to learn how to take the truth that we believe, that we might even confess, and we need to learn how to apply that to our life, our daily living. Unless truth goes from here to here, or from knowledge to experience, it's utterly meaningless, really. The Apostles' Creed is something that I really love to recite periodically. It says, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, God's holy church, the holy communion of the saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. That is a wonderful truth to recite, to confess, uh, to believe. But I wonder how many have recited that through the tradition of the church for years and years and years, but never applied the belief to their lifestyle. I don't want that to be us. I want us to confess these things and to make that confession our lifestyle. What does it mean that the Lord Jesus is raised from the dead now? What does it matter to me other than I can live now? with resurrection power given by His Holy Spirit, who gave to us. I believe in the communion of the saints, the fellowship of believers, the family that we're all a part of now. This is what I believe, and my life reflects it through my actions. I hope yours does too. And this week, as we sing out songs of faith, of belief, of laying ourselves down, because of these beliefs, we surrender to you. You know, we, we believe he's the way maker, he's the champion of heaven. When we sing these songs this week, when we sit under the teaching of the word of God from 1 John, I, I hope, I pray that our faith will truly define our lifestyle as we learn these things. God bless you.